What's going on everybody? No Joe Car Reviews back here again with another review. Today we got the Chevy Bolt, one of two electric vehicles in the Chevy lineup. This is the smaller one, the full electric one. The Volt is the other one that has an uh, gas generator inside as well. This one packs a lot of fun, as you'll find out, because as you know with electric vehicles, the power is instant, and I will have power figures on the screen right now. It's around the 200, mid 200 range for horsepower and torque converted from electric. Of course, this isn't one of the higher packaged ones, so no crazy rims, no crazy packages, any colors, nothing like that. You do have your regular bolt trim. It's the uh, little bolt emblems here. You got your bolt inserts here. Of course, they're not vents because it is an electric vehicle. It's only designed for aerodynamics. The bolt, obviously, being what it is, doesn't have a whole bunch of exterior appeal. But inside, and let's not blow over this, the... We got welcome doorknobs with the buttons on every single button. But getting inside, you'll notice there is a beautiful white interior trim that only comes on the bolt. And I personally do like this trim because it's a little futuristic feel to it. And of course, being that it's an electric vehicle, when we start it, you get a cool little blue button there. No sound at all. And it's a pretty cool thing. It's a little weird to get used to at first, but you also get one of the biggest screens probably in the auto industry on this vehicle. It's uh, very much in use for your energy tab here so you can go through all your vehicle settings, see what uh, is going on with your battery, charging time, set up information, set up uh, charging times, view information, efficiency, stuff like that. And even figured out that if we go into settings, almost looks like a Mercedes like they took something out of the page of Mercedes because if you go into vehicle settings they have a little demo page of how to work everything in your vehicle and when you click on these pages it actually moves the vehicle and gives you a little demo and you can completely interact with them ain't that cool moving away from this big screen we'll go to this big screen in the mini infotainment of course, it has a lot of customization as all Chevy vehicles do with their mini infotainment. You can change the actual layout as well, so you can change how you see your information. I have it stuck to modern right now, so that way it shows how much energy I'm saving and how much I'm regening on my right side and how much range I have on my battery on the left. Obviously, to get to more of your pages, you go left on the steering wheel. You get the same steering wheel you get in a lot of vehicles on the Chevy lineup. But nothing's really changed. Very simple, very easy to navigate. If you want to get more information, up and down is the way that you do that. You go through all your vehicle information tabs. Obviously, on the steering wheel, we have the mute and unmute button, voice command, heated steering wheel, because this is a convenience package LT. Obviously, your uh, cruise control or, uh, cruise control is over here on the left side of the steering wheel. You'll figure out that on the left side of the steering wheel, this is where it gets different. This is a regen pedal, and I'll demonstrate when we go into the one pedal driving, that's actually how you regen the battery when you're slowing down the vehicle, and in turn, that means that your volume rockers that are on the back of here, the track ones got moved here, down on the bottom. And you can pull these so they're just like triggers how they used to be, but they're just in a different location. Talking about storage in the bolt, I feel that it's important to cover the fact that you get storage completely through from the driver's seat to the passenger seat through here which is actually a very nice touch because you actually get a lot of stuff in here you got a lighter hole hidden down in here if we can get a camera angle on it right there a little pouch i don't know honestly what you would put in there your electronic parking brake is here along with your shift knob which will go through with a demonstration so your typical shift button is right here on the side and what you do is whenever you go to shift you hold that button down you push up, so if I wanted to push up, if you want to go to reverse, you push up and go left. You just follow the arrows. Down, same thing. One pedal driving is actually the L mode, so you would go down again to get into that. 
And to get out of it, if you were driving and wanted to cut it off, you just push it down again and it goes back to drive. And finally, park is just a button, simple as that. Of that. You have a little bit more storage here with both your USBs and aux cord here. And you have hidden Skittles inside of the center console. For everybody's favorite part of the video, me to get in the back of the seat. And being that I'm a little height challenged, I have a very easy time getting in this back seat. And I actually have a lot of room to spare, so I wouldn't imagine that people significantly taller than me would have the same ease getting in the back seat. There's not as much connectivity as you would imagine, being that this is one of the lower package bolts, but you can get heated seats in the ones that have leather, so talking Premier package, stuff like that. But the bolt, for sure, what it is, you get a decent amount of space in the back seat. No center pullout, which is a bummer, I know, but definitely efficient for what it is. All right, now for the fun portion of the video, we're gonna drive the bolt, and I feel like this is the part that everybody is going to be surprised about because the bolt is actually a lot more fun of a vehicle than many people give it credit for. So switching into the sport mode that this bolt has, I'm just gonna instantly, I'm, the instant is gonna be a very big word in this review because of the instant torque you get from this electric vehicle. <laughs> it, I mean, the amount of pull that you get for a vehicle of this size, of this caliber, it's not meant to be a sport vehicle, is honestly a little bit <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. Is very very fun and I should mention the perfect time to mention that I got my best friend Bruce with me so, here and he would tell you that the pull on this electric vehicle the bolt is crazy probably yeah. due to the weight <laughs> and the electric motor obviously yeah, it's surprising for sure absolutely and it's not it's not like a top out thing either of course everybody might be like oh it might be fast uh, like off like when you're going 20 miles an hour. No, it's, it's decently fast when you're up on the highway too, going like 60, 70, and those people to exceed that speed limit sometimes. <laughs> but uh, sitting here in these uh, cloth seats, not a bad feel. It's definitely not the best feel, obviously, but it's definitely a good feel for what it is. And uh, um, I think this being that we're at a red light is a good time to switch into the one pedal driving mode, which means that that I can use just one foot only on the gas pedal and drive completely like a normal car. So meaning that if I was in traffic, I needed to stop. I can just simply come off the gas pedal and it'll slow down and I can use that regen pedal to slow me down even more and regen the battery battery while I'm doing so. If you ask me, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> I mean, you get all the fun of, let's say, something on the level of uh, Focus ST. We'll, we'll talk around that power, maybe. Maybe I'm making a fool of myself. But <laughs> I've been in the Ford ST, and I feel like the pull that you get around in this thing is around the same. You get the same torque steer, all that. Obviously, you don't get uh, engine, well, regular it's just so it's, yeah, it's an electric note. car so what you get is what you get you you don't get the exhaust note the exhilarating exhaust note but it's not it's slow by any means absolutely and yeah. it definitely makes up for it because it's fun when you get down on it and actually try and drive it <laughs> yeah. the smaller wheelbase allows for this thing to spin tires at like even 30 miles an hour if you were to hit the gas pedal just to give you an idea of like how instantly that torque can hit these, these wheels but obviously i like to give you that figure just to give you a show of what certain people may like to do and what certain people may like other people may just like the fact that it's an electric vehicle it's efficient it's practical and it does all the things that you'll need in an everyday vehicle which shouldn't take away from the fact that it does everything else in the performance category other than that everybody i hope that i was able to change your mind about a vehicle that you've probably seen on the on the road and been like oh no i will never drive that myself mm -hmm. 
hopefully we got your mind changed on that if you ever get interested in these vehicles they're all available i have links in the description to get to them i as always go check out my friend bruce i have his information in the description and everybody take care have a great day